Turn right onto North Main Street. At the stop sign, turn right onto North Main Street. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a castle. A castle in the middle of Central Texas. Can anyone say that that is not a castle? Come on, Gutter. Museum currently closed. Okay, right right now we're here at the Brown, what I like to call the Brown County Museum of Lies. Plenty of lies to be had here. Plenty of castle-like stuff. Brown County Jail. In 1901, Brown County commissioners determined their 1881 jail no longer met the needs of the county and voters authorized the issuance of bonds to pay for the construction of the new facility. The commissioners hired Martin Moody and Company of Comanche, Texas in partnership with the Young Blood Brothers to undertake the project. Local contractor William Hood served as construction superintendent. Completed in 1903, the Brown County Jail was designed to reflect the security of an ancient fortress and is one of the best remaining examples of this design in Texas. The castle-like appearance is clearly exhibited in the building's rusticated stone, castellated roofline, corner turrets, and wide Romanesque revival arches. William F. and Albert Morton, English stonemasons, perform the exterior stonework using local sandstone. The Morton's craftsmanship is evident in a number of other structures in Brownwood, as well as the interior steelwork was designed by D.F. Youngblood of San Antonio and his brothers from Troy, Alabama. Later founders of the Southern Steel Company, a noteworthy builder of prisons and manu manufacturer of prison equipment. The first floor accommodated living quarters for the sheriff and jailer. By 1981, the building was unable to meet modern jail standards and it ceased to function in that capacity. Revitalized for use as a county museum, it remains a significant part of Brown County's architectural heritage. Yes, it is now the Brown County Museum of Lies. Used to be the jail here. Now what do we have here? Welcome William Chandler. Credited with being the first permanent settler and first farmer in Brown County, Welcome William Chandler, 1813 to 1870, arrived in 1856 with his wife Sarah, their children, and several slaves. Their log cabin was a gathering place for other area pioneers and was the site of the county's original post office and store. Chandler served as Brown County judge from 1858 to 1860 and as postmaster for seven years, although his daughter Jane, in fact, ran the post office. About 1868, Chandler moved north of Brownwood to a site which has remained in the family for over 100 years. And there you have it. The Brown County Museum of Lies. Oh, the Brown County Museum of Lies. Come on, Gunter. If you ever want to go to the Brown County Museum of Lies and just come right on over. We'll be happy to give you a tour.